No rock group worth its salt is without its share of fans, those who love and respect their musical heroes without asking anything else in return. This group of fans, naming themselves, the Dear Rockers, has taken it upon themselves to make sure that the ideals of their rocker heroes are upheld, at least until the next concert is due to hit. Rocker, colors, adorn more than 600 Dear Rocker jackets in the city of New Detroit, where they are most numerous. They have developed a system of hand, voice and tapping signals used to identify friend from foe, and signify comings and goings. Friends are welcomed or helped according to the circumstances, while foes are avoided and observed. Violence is not the rocker's way. The relationship that the Dear Rockers have with the rockers, and with each other, is unique in these times. Many idealize the band and, like postmodern paladins, seek to carry out the messages in their songs to the letter. Some Dear Rockers have been known to cast people they call quitters, those who have grown so depressed with their situation that they become unfocused and useless, right out of the underground. Others have been known to drop dead from exhaustion, having rocked round the clock for days on end saving lives during emergencies in the tunnels. Still others seek to guard the rockers with their lives, never letting them out of their sight, clobbering overzealous fans who get too close. They are not official members of the underground, but might be thought of as a youth auxiliary force in civil defense. Most Dear Rockers believe that the best way to help the rockers is to help rebuild the cities. Many will scrounge around junkyard and the remains of bookstores and libraries searching for books on how to build or repair the utilities of the past. Sometimes they even find something. Each Dear Rocker helps in the way that he or she knows best. Some are fine impromptu medics, others are fair mechanics and carpenters. These mechanically inclined kids are usually drafted by Benjamin Walters to help with an occasional project or two, and while none of them are skilled enough to construct anything complicated on their own, they are competent assistants and rarely make mistakes when asked to help out.